Welcome back, survivors. I am the Survival Vis, and we return to pray for the gods. Now, last episode, we didn't fare so well against, I guess, the boar god. So what we're going to do is farm a few things, get ourselves a little better equipped, and then try coming back here. So we're just going to go back to game, and promptly GTFO there. So I... That... It's just hitting me now, actually. That is probably why this has the time pressure plates and so many of the pressure plates. It was meant to kind of be a signal that you've got to use those to try to get yourself through it. But I have some ideas about strategy to use. I think it's mo might be using those pillars a little more... Well, definitely using the pillars a little better. My thinking is that... If I use the pillars a little more intelligently... Ah, shoot. Lost an arrow there. But we actually have an abundance of those, so that's not too bad. Wait, where'd the boar go? Oh, he's up here. And he's got the arrow stuck in him still. Which we'll be able to get back. There you go. So we'll probably use those pillars to try to get up on his back. And if we can, use that as a way of striking the other pressure. Or seals, or whatever you want to call them that are on him. Because I think if we can... It seems like you gotta be... Whoop. Sorry about that. Just hit the mic a little bit. It seems that we gotta be really strategic with him. Oh, got it. Well, we might have a couple of swords. I'll have to see how we're doing for what we've got in our inventory. Ah, uh, uh, see about making some arrows if we can. Probably won't have a number that we actually can't hold on to. Oh, no. And what do we got for melee? You know, might as well drop the clubs. If we're going to have a bunch of swords, we don't need the clubs. So there's a nice sword there. Nice sword there. Oh, arrow we can use. And... Maybe I'll even drop those two wood. Yeah, so I think what we'll want to do... Oh, there's some spirits over there. Maybe we'll try to find a camp. And I do wonder what this area is. Because this seems definitely like an arena as well. So I need more food and I need more rest. Oh, maybe this is just a... Maybe a castle remains of some kind. I will get out my sword, just because it does seem like... There'd be a... Ooh, yeah, if there's going to be a spot with a lot of enemies around, this is probably going to be it. Oh, come on. Climb. Climb, yep. Yeah, here I go climbing up the hard way, and there's stairs on the other side. <laughs> okay. Definitely can use all of this, so that'll be nice. Ooh, another grappler. Uh, I'd love to use it, but I'm afraid it just doesn't have the durability anymore. And we'll go see what's in these other crates. Probably have to take down a few. Yeah. Get ourselves another sword out. Well, you'd be nice and give us that nice looking bow. Nope. Eh, well, at least we'll stock up on arrows. Okay. 
So I'd like to find some more rope, because that would let us upgrade some of our, more of our equipment. Ah, look at that. Be able to stop him just like that. A lot of cloth. Oh, I guess a blizzard's blowing in. Let's see for... Eh, might as well drop that club so we can pick up this axe. There we go. Oh, and looks like another save point. So I guess we might as well save at this. And then figure out what we're going to do. Well, we need to find somewhere that has a cooking spit, which... Well, actually, that's kind of ironic. You yeah, used there's certain fireplaces that there are fireplaces. No, we're not that rich. We have random fireplaces in the world. There are certain bonfires, I guess would be the best term, out in the world that have a cooking spit on. Them. But when you sit down beside them, you never use it. You just hold the meat out on a stick. So it's like any fire you'd really be able to cook at, I'd imagine. I think you should be able to. Got that one from behind. And I definitely need to... Eh, might as well eat that, so that way we have that back. Pick up the meat. And we'll just keep exploring to see what else we can find. Sounds like we, Oh, yeah. There's a spirit right there. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> Getting better with them, at least. So let's try to find somewhere to kind of call shelter. I guess we might as well try heading up. No, oh, we're in completely unmarked territory now. So maybe I'll backtrack, because I know there is... No. Nope. I was going to say, maybe I'll backtrack so that way we can find that fire with the bed again. But we also need to have more food. Oh, there's some stuff here. It's like a crate. Some more rope. I actually, yeah, that'll let us upgrade something. I think. Yeah, might as well go for the extra speed. Help us get around a little more. I've got so much of this that I don't really need all that much wood. Just threw it away. Didn't care what if it went up or down. Okay. Oh yeah, so it does look like we have a little bit of a movement speed increase. And I don't think we can upgrade... No, so that's max. We only have those to go through and max out. But the only way we'll do that is if we come across more crates and boxes. So we will have to keep on exploring. Is there... Oh, looks like this might be a cave. Yeah, this looks like another cave. I just don't know where this will lead. Last cave we went into led to a hell prison. Oh. Ah, oh, this one didn't lead to that, but... To something nice. So let's get the map. So we've got a big bay area. The same there, where we are. Might as well get the fire going. Oh, and there's another kind of banner to look at, too. See, that's the thing. There's the little roasting spit over it. We just have to put a stick out. Why? Use what you got. We could cook everything at once with that. That's just a weird little decision to put in. Yeah, we'll eat 
that. And might as well eat some of the berries we found. And I think we'll get a little bit of rest here. And what I think we'll do is explore this cave a little bit. Oh. No, oh, okay, that's working again. That takes us up to somewhere. So I'll just do a manual save. And we'll see what's in here. Because that's a new band. Looks like a serpent. Actually, looks like there's nothing really here, is there? So. Is there anything? No, nothing on those bodies there. What's up here? There we go. I think we'll take that out just in case, although from the looks of it... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything here. So, we'll go up this way. This is seeming way too familiar to what I've already done. Oh, although this one I think is a little different. I don't suppose if I just drop it and leave that on, that'll be... No, that's not enough. Wait. So there's this gate here. I don't know if there's anything else to really... Yeah, I think we'll come down for landing, get all of our stamina back, and then try going up again. I'm kind I am... Well, I'm going to be honest. I'm very nervous about it. So, it looks like the only way would be... It doesn't look like that gate is moving at all, is it? Something shifts, but I don't know what. Let me see if I can even... I can't even see on the other side of what is over there, can I? No, I can't. I think this is a dead end for... Now. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this seems to be a dead end for now, so I think all will... Ooh. There are some things over there, but no, nah, I'm not going to be able to reach them. So I think we'll just take our leave out of this cave. It looks like we can't do anything with it at the moment. Let's bring this back down. Yeah, we'll just make sure to top our levels off. A little more rest, and then we'll keep exploring. See if maybe we'll try to upgrade ourselves entirely. So we know there are... I think it's three more gods that we can go and we'll try to find. One has to be that giant bird dragon that we just saw in the last episode. And then we know the boar is one. So, I don't really have anything up to the left here to explore. So maybe we'll try looking around that way and see if we can find something. Well, I already do see something worth coming over this way, and that is that elk. Because we could use that meat.
Yeah, so we don't have a way to crouch to kind of hide. No. Oh. Still too high. Let's see. Too low. Ooh. Side of the head, I think, but not quite enough to take it down. Yeah, we're able to get some... Well, at least we're hitting it. Although it is a tough one. I think it is because this bow also isn't one of the really good ones that we can get. This is just kind of the base bow. And speaking of base bow, we just lost our only bow, I think. Yeah. Well, that sucks. Oh, but... Actually, seeing that raven, that's where we can get more feathers for that. Okay. Uh, oh, a few things here. Ooh, some rope, some cloth, another map. I really... Maybe we'll try looking for that one there, because somehow we're close to that now. And anything I can upgrade? One away from getting the full set for the gloves. I think they'll help reduce the amount of stamina we lose as we hold on, but I honestly have no idea. And I don't want to make a bow, just because we've been able to find them. Not overly easily, but we've still been able to find them, so there's something we could save those resources for something else. Oh. Oh, where's the wind taking us? Over here. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a cave or anything there. I guess we'll see what's around this area now. Oh, another box. I was going to say a spirit, but we managed to take it out pretty easily. Probably going to have a few. Yep, we're, we're able to take them out, though we do get a hit taken against us, so it's not the best way of doing it, but at least I suppose it's better than flailing around for too long. We are starting to get kind of cold, too. Uh, we'll take a little run along here. Oh, a shipwreck. Maybe we'll find something there. Yeah, there's something on the ground beside it. Oh, a map. Well, we're definitely getting things to go and look for. Something. Oh, yeah, I better make that fire now. There we go. We'll make the fire. We'll have that to eat. Oh, yeah, the blizzard's parting, too. That's nice. So, we've got an X down that way, and we're going to head that way anyway. So, I, I suppose that's probably the best option to go. Just make sure our health is nice and topped up. The fire gave us... I'd say enough warmth back to be able to start going around. Oh, a few more boxes. <clears throat> Some cloth. Probably going to lose the axe in another swing here. Yeah. Another grab. Ooh, there we go. Some more rope. Give us the 7-7. Seven, seven. Eh, maybe we'll wait on this one. Although, actually, they are basically the same that they give, so it doesn't really matter. And we'll just use that one. And see if we can smack apart this box here. Ooh, some bread! Freeze-dried in the... Whatever place we are. I don't know if this would be the Arctic or something else. Eh, maybe we'll try for this boar. 
Oh wait, no bow. Maybe we won't try for that more. And let's take the sailcloth down this way. There we go. A club and some more rope. So what we're after is somewhere over there, apparently. And this is probably another poor decision upon my part, but we'll try it anyway. We can fly gracefully into death. <laughs> I don't know if this will be able to grip. No. And can we climb this? No. Did I do dumb? I think I did dumb. Yeah, I think I did a dumb. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, I only really have one option then, and that is to swim. And, yep, there goes our heat like crazy. Okay. Yeah, so our heat was pretty low, but that's coming back, actually. Wait. So what we need is directly up this path. Or whatever this X is, will be up this path. So let's grab out our good old axe. Oh, another box to break. Some more rope. Perfect. So I think that's all we're missing now. Now we can get more inventory slots, so I think I'd rather go for the upgrade to the armor. Or I guess our clothing. I wonder if they'll actually introduce more kind of clothing or armor sets you can use. Things that'll give you stronger health or stamina or effects. That would actually be a bit of an interesting progression route for a game like this. It might yet. It could be coming in given, given the fact that we have 7 of the antlers, 21 of those, the tusks. Things that don't really have much use at the moment. Huh. Okay, so now it's Directly up there. Oh, but maybe we'll just go and save that sh little sh shrine up there. I also see a cave, and I don't... I have mixed feelings about that cave. Might as well head up here. Snag that one bit of wood, and say a prayer. Yeah, the wind's kicking up, so maybe what we can even do is ride this down towards whatever that X is. So it should be directly that way. Let's see if we can fight the wind towards it. And we'll get a little bit more of that, and then rush into whatever this is. Actually, um... Hmm, this is weird. Okay, well the good news is we have a fire. So we can cook. Well, I guess the only piece of meat we have. I could make a couple of bows, though, and I may do that. Uh, you know what? I probably am going to do that. Because I do like having a ranged option to be able to go up or handle some things. Especially those spirits that are just really annoying going around after us. So maybe we'll just do the one. So I think what we gotta do with this is aim for that. There we go. And I think I thought I spotted another one. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh. 
Well, this is definitely the X on the map, so maybe what we'll do is I'll just use one of these to free up some inventory. Yeah, might as well. Ah, no, we won't have that. We'll just have that. And then go take a quick look around. And this is a pressure plate. Oh. Get those lit, see what's on the other side of this. Well, there's another pressure plate. Okay, looks like we got to be a little bit marksman. I say and butcher that royally, don't I? Okay, so there's that one lit. There's that one lit. And let's see if third time is the charm. Yeah. So that's all of those lit up. Ah, so I think now I have to bring the water up again. Oh. Or maybe I can't even do that. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, it's doing it on its own. Okay. Okay, well, objective achieved, water's up again. And then will this open the gate and lower the water level? Maybe that was the sequence. Yeah, I think that was the sequence of what I had to do. No, oh, wait a minute. Did I have to... I probably had to light up the ones that were underwater, didn't I? Ah, shoot. I ah, better make some more arrows, because I know we're going to use them. I have no idea what that is, though, down there. Ah, might as well make as many as I can. So we'll wait for the water level to rise up again. There we go. No. Okay. I've got the plan figured out. We wait, the water level rises up, then the door shuts. We open the door. We lower the water level. We light those last two. We run back into here, and we claim whatever is inside the little vault. So we just wait. Okay. So there's door coming down, and water coming back up. Lock back where it was. So now we quickly rush through, drain the water, light our arrow. One. Light this one. Two. Run our way back through here. Use the sailcloth to try to glide if we can. Then. And there's our chest. Ooh. 
So we got something in our bag. What is it? There are other pair. Oh. Okay, so there are other pair types of clothing and armor in the game. So this one. So our boots were 7, 7, and 2. This is 2, 6, and minus 1. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to keep with those boots for now. But there are other pieces of armor and equipment in the game. Okay, that's actually pretty cool to learn. So that must mean every X is a different piece of equipment we can get. So they are worth trying to find and figure out. So from here then, let's try to think of where we want to go. Actually, from here then, I think we're probably going to call this episode after putting our minds to that little bit of a test. So we'll just do a save. And then we'll see about trying to get some of these other X's and figure out what else we have for equipment. So I've been the Survival of this, bringing you Pray for the Gods. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next episodes, so remember to take care and stay alive.